We're monitoring the situation very, very closely, which is why we're talking about it yet again today. Big shout out over to Tommy on Twitter. He does some fantastic videos of him eating food. I'm pretty sure if you're on Canucks Twitter, you've seen him pop up once in a while. And he does the jersey service, which has been super awesome to pay attention to. But he tweeted out the image that I'm going to be using for the thumbnail of this video. It's the Phil Kessel Team USA picture that is swapped out with a Canucks jersey. This is just so funny, dude. It even has the TD patch on there. Hilarious stuff. But... This entire video is going over a fairly negative update in regards to Phil Kessel. Now, I get it, you know. You could go out there and say that this update isn't surprising. You could say that this update may be opening the door to a bigger conversation as to whether or not it's actually appropriate for the Canucks to go out there and target Phil Kessel. But we did have ourselves practice footage earlier today of Phil Kessel actually skating and practicing with the Abbotsford Canucks. Now, this is not new. We knew this was going to happen. The Canucks announced yesterday that Phil Kessel would be here. He'd be practicing. He'd be skating with the team. He hasn't signed a contract. He hasn't signed any form of a contract. No PTOs, no ATOs, no AHL contracts, no NHL contracts. He is just a guy coming over to Abbotsford and he's going to be skating with the team. This also was apparent after we had seen yesterday somebody actually found Phil Kessel at the airport and decided to take his picture without him knowing. I'm going to try to find that over here. Yeah, here it is. So Willie Sue yesterday saw Phil Kessel at YVR with his Vegas Golden Knights gear. And then later in the day, we had the announcement from Rick Dollywall that Kessel is in Vancouver. And then we had the announcement from the Vancouver Canucks themselves that Kessel will be part of Abbotsford practices. But this is the negative update that we have. Jeff Patterson went out there and tweeted this out. I just watched a chunk of raw video of Kessel from this morning in Abbotsford. It very much looked like a veteran who's been away from the game for a while. Not to finish product, but there are some serious struggles that Kessel has had in between drills. Now, Jake Rim Jutherford goes out there and replies and asks the question, Jeff, would you be able to defer whether he looked slower or normal as a vet would look if they were coming into training camp in September? Jeff Patterson then replies, Phil Kessel appeared to struggle between drills more than a vet reported for main camp. One thing to skate on your own and another to join a group that's been playing for 50 games. His speed in drills looked okay. It was the recovery that stood out to me. So maybe it's not particularly Phil Kessel's cardio, like his output, his max volume, stride length, whatever, whatever, you know, all the stuff that people talk about at the NHL Draft Combine, but maybe it's not the actual physical tools that he has to blitz down and speed up, compare with other players in the show, but more so his recovery. It's what he does in between the drills. It's how tired he looks and how much he's struggling during that time frame. And the reply goes out there and says, Oh yeah, look at this. It's only a levy from his recovery period. And that's actually a pretty good question to go out there and ask this level of recovery or better. I get it. This guy, Jan, is pretty much joking around here. Or is it Jan? I'm not too sure. But JPAT has given us the scoop here that apparently Phil Kessel hasn't really looked his best so far at Canucks training camp. Or not training camp. Abbotsford Canucks practice. So that is something that we have to keep an eye on, because if this is going to be sort of a pattern over the next few weeks, we're really going to have to see whether or not Phil Kessel has the capability of becoming an NHL caliber athlete. Here's a reply from Rich Jones that proposes the contrary. Kessel's reputation for his entire career was that of a guy not committed to fitness and nutrition. This is a waste of time despite the zero acquisition cost. I'm perplexed by this move, to be honest. Now, the thing about this entire Kessel situation is that you have to remember this is for free. There's nothing here that the Vancouver Canucks are gaining or losing if they sign Kessel to some sort of a one-year $700,000 deal. He'll just be here as a veteran who won't even play most of the games because he's already committed to not having his Ironman streak extended to allow him to sign a contract with a team. But I find that the entire cardio, like, systems argument is not really one that makes too much sense here, considering the fact that Kessel 
okay, he's won three Stanley Cups, which is good, but the fact that he's already been under Rick Tockett twice in Pittsburgh and in Arizona, and he has consistently waxed poetic about how Tockett is a great coach and how he likes Tockett's style, Rick Tockett, when he was coaching the Arizona Coyotes, wasn't, like, entirely different from Rick Tockett coaching the Vancouver Canucks now. Just because Tockett has this entire, like, work ethic, structure, commitment, fitness level type of mentality with this current Vancouver Canucks team, it doesn't mean that he didn't have that same structure in Arizona. Like, if Phil Kessel was already under a Tockett system in the past and he liked it enough that he wants to follow Tockett to Vancouver, then I think this argument of, okay, yeah, his fitness level wasn't really the best, I don't think that's really something to pay attention to that much. Like, I think, if anything, the demands that Rick Tockett would have fitness-wise would be okay in Phil Kessel's mind. It's just the guy hasn't skated with a hockey team in a year. Like, there's an entirely different set of recovery and drills that are done when you're with other guys versus when you're by yourself. So Jeff Patterson does a pretty good job at articulating it here. I mean, it's one thing to skate on your own, and it's another thing to join a group of guys that have been playing for 50 games already. So Phil Kessel not really being, like, too impactful in practice. I don't think that's the biggest deal in the world, but the fact that he has been struggling in between drills, that's going to have to change if he wants to find himself signing an NHL contract and being a part of the Vancouver Canucks. He can't be going out there for a power play two shift and then you come back to the bench completely gassed and you're not able to play in your next rotation. Like, you kind of have to be able to keep up. So for Phil... While he is, you know, a top-of-the-line athlete, literally at one point he was one of the best wingers in the entire game. I mean, 92 points post-HBK line, I'm pretty sure. Like, there's no doubting Phil Kessel's talent and the conditioning that he had, which allowed him to be that good in the first place. So if there's anybody that's going to be able to recover from this kind of thing, Phil Kessel could very much be that. We talk about this all the time, but regular human beings like me and you... Unless, of course, you are, like, Phil Kessel or whatever watching this video, which you shouldn't be. Why are you watching videos from fans on YouTube? But regular people like me and you, we take time to recover from things. Like, we get appendicitis, we have to get surgery. It takes us two to three weeks, and then we're back on our feet. For guys that are in the NHL, hey, Ryan Getzlaff got appendicitis, he got the surgery, and he was back skating, like, within the week. Patrick Kane got a surgery on his hip that nobody in hockey has ever recovered from and been good enough to play an extended amount of time afterwards again. But Patrick Kane did that and he's fine. Phil Kessel was one of the best wingers in the NHL in his prime. If there's anybody that's going to be able to work that conditioning and strength up to back to NHL paces, then Phil Kessel could very much be that guy. It's a tall task for any human being, but for some of the best hockey players in the world, their bodies are just different from ours, so for Phil, maybe it is baby steps here. It's slowly getting back up to speed in Abbotsford. It's spending a practice today, it's spending more practice tomorrow, and on the next day, and on the next day. He's doing all this for free. He doesn't have any contracts. He's just signed nothing. So he's just here chilling, doing the practice, and running the drills as everybody else, and he's looking a little bit tired, but as he gets back up to speed, hopefully things will work themselves out. But for now, this has been a fairly negative update for Phil Kessel and his time in Abbotsford, but... Hey, it's just one practice, right? Things can change as the week goes along. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Phil Kessel and this update from Jeff Patterson. What do you think about him suiting up with the Abbotsford Canucks and helping them out in practice? Do you think he'll eventually sign a contract with the Vancouver Canucks? Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.